I was driving and listening to Bernard audio and just seeing how everything is reversed. Nothing is as it seems. You know, I forgive myself for accepting the mind as a as a religion, I fit myself to use my words to speak, um, because we live in a word, in the beginning was the word, and the word is God, so I fit myself to see the importance of vocabulary and how everything is in reverse, and I commit myself to see what's actually here in the physical versus what I'm projecting my mind, for example, seeing the quantum mind in effect, um, like what the belief that we know, seeing, seeing how much I'm in my mind and how things take place on a quantum level where seeing a car go off the exit ramp and seeing a car on the same exit ramp is just proves to me that have a quantum mind. I commit myself to visit the EQAP audio to learn more about that. And I commit myself to stay sober to to not get trapped in the mind again. I commit myself to stay off drugs. I commit myself to live breath by breath because I don't know the day I'm going to die. I don't know the day I'm going to my life is over, so I commit myself to breathe and to be the director principle, starting with my breath. And when I lose my breath, I'm not here, I'm not me, I'm my mind. And, uh, I have an ego, I have, I am life, but I have an ego, and I have to walk this process of becoming life, because I have no choice. Because I have to. So I, I commit myself to look further than Bernard's work in self-forgiveness because I have done stuff where no one will forgive me for what I've done, and I've fucked up. And the only person that can care is me, and the only person that can forgive myself is me. So I commit myself to look further than forgiveness and to do this little by little and step by step, breath by breath.